Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at how 10 different animals see. So we're used to seeing the world through our eyes, but most animals have completely different eyes and see the world totally differently. And with this video, I'm going to allow you guys to see the world through the eyes of 10 different animals. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have dogs. So, humans have five color cones in their eyes, and these cones are divided up into four primary colors, which are red, green, blue, and yellow. But dogs only see blue and yellow. So, compared to a human, dogs would be colorblind, and that's why they have such a good sense of smell, because their eyes are so weak. And if you guys can't see the question mark in this image, then you have eyes like a dog, because they wouldn't be able to either. Because they wouldn't be able to tell the difference between red and green. And it's a popular myth that dogs can't see color at all, and see things in black and white. But no, they're partially colorblind, Blind, but they can see some colors. Another weird thing about dogs vision is that they can only see at 60 degrees what's in front of them While humans can see around 140 degrees in front of them And if you know if you put something really close to your eyes, then it gets all blurry Well dogs don't have that and their eyes can focus on things very close to them But not as far away as the human eye but coming up next, we have bats. So we all know that bats only come out at night, and because of that, they have bad vision. But their vision is 110 times brighter than human vision, so they can see in the dark more easily. The vision they do have is like thermal night vision, but they mainly rely on high-pitched noises that other bats put out to get around and to communicate. Their eyes use polarized light, which are light waves that are parallel to each other and vibrate in a single pane. But yeah, bats have a red tint on their vision to see thermally, and they sometimes also see in regular night vision mode when they're not looking for prey to eat. But next up, we have bees. So, like dogs, bees don't have all of the color receptors for the four primary colors, but the ones they do have are blue and green, but not yellow and red. But they can also see the UV spectrum, meaning they can actually see UV lighting that humans can't. And obviously, because bees can't see certain colors, they see plants and flowers very differently as compared to humans. But they can also see things that are invisible to us, such as ultraviolet light patterns in the center of plants and flowers. And this can help a bee determine if it wants to take the pollen and nectar from a certain flower or not. Because they can see UV UV lighting which changes color depending on the certain type and quantity of pollen and nectar. So bees basically use their ultraviolet light seeing ability to take them to the plants with the most nectar and pollen so they can make more honey for us to eat. But next up we have sharks. So you know when you go underwater and open your eyes, it goes all blurry and then you can't really see anything until you come up again. Well sharks can see clearly underwater, just like how we see when we're not in water. And sharks see all in black and white, and that allows them to see clearer contrasts in lightness and darkness. And we all know that when you go down to the bottom of the ocean it can be dark. And also in the ocean there's a lot of areas with murky waters. Well sharks can see in dark or murky water because they have something called a tapetum ludicium, which is a layer of mirrored crystals located behind the retina. But next up, we have birds. So, bird's eyes are a lot different to human eyes, but they're also very cool. So, in a bird's eye, the center of whatever they're looking at is magnified, because their eye muscles focus on certain places. Birds also have four cell cones in their eyes called photoreceptors, while humans only have two. And this allows them to see ultraviolet light, kind of like a bee. And another crazy thing about birds' vision is that they can see the Earth's magnetic field, which is how they're able to migrate to hot countries in the winter. And the Earth's magnetic field would look like this to a bird, one strip that's more brightly lit than anywhere else. Well, well, that's all very impressive, but at least I don't crash into windows on a regular basis. But next up, we have rats. So you might not think that rats are the most interesting animals, but their vision is pretty cool. Rats actually see with both eyes separately, and then the views of the two eyes are put together. And what's really creepy is each eye can move independently. So one eye might be looking up while the other could be looking down, or one eye could be looking left while the other is looking right. And rats also see things in slow motion, so that they can focus on the detail of things, because their eye senses are very slow compared to a human's eye. And rats are also colorblind to the color red, but that doesn't matter too much because they can't see that many other colors anyway, because their eyes have a blue tint, which allows them to see at night and in dark places. But next up we have flies. So if you look closely at a fly's eye, you'll see it has thousands of small circles making up its eyes. And these are actually the fly's lenses which are mirrored onto their vision. So they can actually see the same thing many times. And flies can also see ultraviolet lights. And I've already explained how that works. Also like rats, flies can see things in slow motion to help them focus on certain things. But that's actually not a good thing for them because it makes it easier for them to get swatted by us. Wow, just imagine how much more annoying they'd be if they saw things at regular speed. But next up, we have snakes. So we all know that snakes are really sneaky, and their eyes add to their sneaky stereotype. They can see some color, but at night, they can see infrared, because they have incredibly sensitive infrared sensors located on their head. And this can be used to see where heat is, so that they can sneak up on their prey at night and kill them easily. And they can also spot humans at night with this, so if you go out for a peaceful stroll one night, just be sure to watch out for snakes. 
but next up we have fish. So fish can only see red, green, and blue, meaning they have a very limited color spectrum. And that's so that they can see in dark, murky waters deep down in the sea. But that lack of colors are only really needed for ocean fish who go down into dark, murky waters. But the house fish that you guys might have as pets also see like this, which is pretty pointless because they don't even live in dark, murky water. Well, unless the person who owns them doesn't clean out the tank. But fish also see at a much wider angle than humans, which is where the term fish eye comes from. And fish also have ultraviolet light receptors inside their eyes, which allows them to see UV light. Damn, it seems like almost every animal on this list can see ultraviolet light. But next up we have cats. So the first weird thing about a cat's eyes is that they have an inner eyelid inside their eye, which gives them extra protection against things getting in their eyes. And cats only see yellows, browns, and blues, and that's because cats have many more rods than humans do, which allows them to see in dim light. But human retinas also have more cones, especially in the area of the fovea, which is all cones and no rods at all. And this allows us to see bright, vibrant things in the sunlight, but for cats all of the color is drained out and it looks less happy and bright. And it's also a lot more blurry than the high resolution you're used to seeing. Seeing. So if you had cat vision, it would be like everything is permanently out of focus. And cat vision goes a lot wider than humans, because cats have a visual field that spans a massive 200 degrees, compared to the 180 degree visual span that humans have. So yeah guys, would you rather see in the dark like a cat, or have bright colourful vision like a human? And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for your favourite animal on this list. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!